Hello, I am Tim Warwood. We are here with both Blacks and Saks Underwear for a brief discussion. It's a series of chats aiming to strip away the stigma surrounding mental health, body image, what it means to be masculine, and much, much more. Let's hear what these guys have to say. Um, right, we'll start off easy. What do you think it means to be a man? Um, me personally, I think a man is, other than the biology of it, yeah. I think a man is someone who just allows himself to feel, just doesn't judge himself, just allows himself to feel that whether that's uh, you're happy, you're sad, you're angry, you're frustrated, you're upset, whatever it is, you just allow yourself to feel openly and honestly with no judgment and there's no kind of expectation on you of how you should react to certain things. Do you think that's a quite a new school way of looking at it? I'd like to think it is. I think. People preach that, but I don't think people actually live that. And it's, it's tough, it's not easy. It takes a while to get there. It takes a while to go through certain things and understand that it's okay to not be okay. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's okay to feel low and, and, and go through things and, and come out the other end. If you need to talk to someone, if you need to just address it yourself, that's all right. To me, I think it's, it's not a trying to not lean towards like the, the social norm of masculinity. It's, it's my version of that. So if, and you know, a male is usually like a, a father figure. So like, am I a good role model to my friends, uh, with my family? Am I living up to their expectations? So I think masculinity is a sense of that. That's what it'd mean for me. I think that generation of like my granddad's era, um, raising his family right, trustworthy, loyal, family, all the things what like the key values where I used to think was what I'd want to be like when I was younger would be, I'd always say my granddad. What about you, Andy? It's quite a tough question. Yeah. For, for me, masculinity has always been the stereotype, which is, you know, quite sad, really. I actually went to an agricultural college. I studied, studied agricultural engineering, and that was possibly the worst environment I've ever been because it's just been, you know, toxic masculinity it's always perceived negatively to me as soon as I hear the word masculinity. For me, it's, it's about showing your emotions. I think that's a lot more masculine, showing your emotions than it is hiding them now. Um, not necessarily being a big muscly man and someone like that anymore, do you know? Do you think uh, that's changed? Yeah, a lot. Um, over generations, yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, Masculine was where a man went out to work, you know, butch, beard, that sort of thing. And I don't think it is. I think it's day, this day and age, men, mental health and stuff like that. I think it takes, it's more masculine to show that you're suffering from something than it is to sit in silence, mm. 100%. Do you think you've ever altered your, I mean, this is quite a, quite a personal question. Have you ever altered your personalities to perhaps appear more masculine? Yeah. It's the classic, like, trying to be more manly in front of builders at your home, isn't it? And I've always been a people pleaser. Uh, so I want to cater for their needs and just, you know, roll with it because the idea of frictions is hard work. Um, only up to a position now where I'd stand up against that and be like... The only quality society encourages a man to show is anger, combativeness, uh, aggression. Uh, he has to be ambitious, he has to be driven. It, that's, that's the only picture that you have. You also have to be six foot, you have to be muscular, has to be tall, dark and handsome. If you show anything that's classed as feminine or feminine emotions or weakness, you told to man up. I think it all comes from society's expectations of what a man is. And I don't know, I don't know at what point we got lost. And a man is whatever a man wants to be. A human is whatever a human wants to be, but a man is whatever a man wants to be. It's almost the holy grail that is right there, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Being yeah. whoever you want to be. And, 100%. and without the pressures of modern society. And yeah. yeah, and there's loads. There's loads of pressures. There's pressures on young men to have it all figured out. There's pressures on older men to be the provider. And there's pressures from all over the place and it's like, this, and, and that's not even touching on social media, which is a whole new ball game, which I think the older generation would definitely struggle in coaching their kids with because they didn't have to deal with it. Are you, what type of person are you? Are you okay? To, do you show your emotions? Do you open up easily? Do you talk to people easily? I was definitely, growing up, definitely someone who was, I guess, de deemed quite stoic. I was kind of down, down the line. I didn't really express too much one way or the other way. If something amazing happened, I'd be like, oh yeah, cool. Yeah. And something really bad happened, you'd be like, oh, shame, I don't know, like, yeah. and I kind of thought that was healthy, I thought it was, I felt quite grounded, but then 
uh, as I was just moving through life. Uh, definitely um, being able to express quite a lot more felt a lot healthier, felt a lot easier for me. I think knowing or allowing myself to show emotion means that 95% of the time I'm all right because I know that I don't have to put on a face. I think when you think you have to put on a face, then it gets tough to show emotion. Do you cry? Are you a crier? I'm a crier, mate. I've, uh, I don't see no, no wrong with it. I've, I've, I've lost my leg. Um, so it, it, to, I have them times where stuff gets on top of me. I have them times when it's an hard life. Um, I don't hide it on my social media neither. I, I, put, I put videos up when I'm upset and I, I like to keep it real. I, I don't wanna, it's not just a good life. It's not just about being happy all the time, is it? Do you think the younger generation are finding it easier to show their emotions? How do I show emotion is a big question for a lot of young men. And again, a big part, a lot of what they, a lot of the time they spend is on social media. They're spending seven plus hours a day screen time on the phones. And that, you know what I mean? That's like a 30 day. And a lot of it, a lot of what they feel comes from what they see there, comes from off the back of what they see there in the conversations in the friendship groups and stuff like that. And I think there's a lot more, not to sound doom and gloom, a lot of the younger generation are feeling more tore up inside. That's why depression and anxiety are like skyrocketing. Yeah. But I don't know, I don't think they're well equipped to address it. Light at the end of the tunnel scenario, do you think it's changing? It's sort of hard to determine whether there's more awareness because we've got more means of communication now, you know, because we've got all these like news outlets at our fingertips, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, but then again, you don't know if, if more people are talking about it as well. I'd like to think so in my world that people are, um, just for what I do. Um, but is it ever enough, you know? So there we go. A huge thank you to all of the guys for bringing their incredible stories here. And remember, if anything that you've heard, if any of these stories have resonated with yourselves, if anything's hit home, then don't be afraid to talk to someone. Get out there. As my mom says, a problem shared is a problem halved. And these conversations, it's not a full stop. It's not an underline on any of it. So get out there. Let's keep the conversation going.